Hello everybody, this is Peter from Bergzerg Arcade at BergzergArcade.net and here we are back again in Unity. This time around we're going to be working on another episode for our RPG character controller. So with that said, let's just jump straight into Unity. And we'll actually go to the base layer. And what I've done is I've gone ahead and jumped into the Idle Walk Run Blend Tree. I'm going to make sure that's nice and centered. And today I want to show you how to take some of the animations that you have and fill in holes for ones that you don't have. For instance, we have an animation to walk forward, but we don't have one to walk backwards. And if for some reason you cannot find a, a one that you actually like, uh, there is a quick easy fix for this. So what I'm going to do is select the main blend tree. I'm going to hit that plus button. We'll add another new blend tree. And here it is right up here. I'm going to go ahead and give this a value of negative 0.1. Uh, my run is actually supposed to be at 1. I'm not sure why well, I had it at 0.2. And this new blend tree, I'm going to go ahead, double click it just to jump into it. And I'm going to call it walk backwards. Actually, no S. We'll just do walk back. And to start off with, we'll go ahead, we'll add a motion field. And I'm going to go ahead and take that walk, or walking as it's called down here. Whoops, let's grab the right one. We'll just drop that in. We'll leave it at a threshold of zero. And for speed, uh, we'll look at that in just a second. Mirroring, we're not going to do anything. So speed, uh, if you leave it at one, it just plays like it regularly would if we go ahead, hit play. And if we hit two, it goes at double time. Now oh, maybe 1.2 is a speed walking game you're working on. Maybe 1.2 is not enough, 1.5. Personally, I prefer to blend between the, the, the walk and the run animation for something like that. But if we actually go negative, he'll walk backwards now. Now the reason why I don't like doing it this way is that the animation itself is the exact same. When I have my guy walk backwards, maybe I want his arms up a little bit more around his waist. I have a little bit of a visual distinction between the animations. But today we're just going to go ahead and work on this. And we'll have to go ahead and look at mirroring as well later in this video. But let's go ahead and we'll save this off. I'm going to jump straight into Unity, hit play. And whoops, we'll run forward. And now we can actually walk backwards as well. Uh, I think I'd rather have a little bit like a, like a jog backwards, actually. But the purpose of this video is actually to teach you some of the tools in Unity, not just to give you an, a, a character controller that you can just copy everything I do and have one that works exactly like the way I do. I'd rather teach you to use Mechanum so you can go ahead and, well, create your own character controllers. But that's how you play an animation backwards. And of course, we're still using root motion, so it still moves your character around the way it's supposed to. So let's take a look at how to mirror an animation and why you'd want to do that. So I'm going to come back into Mechanum. Uh, we'll go back out to the idle walk run. And let's go with the run. We've already got turning left and right for our idle. Let's take a look at how to do it with running. So I'm actually going to go ahead and open up the Mixamo webpage. And there are tons of free animations available on the, the Unity Store as well. Uh, since we started using the, the Mixamo ones, I'm going to go ahead and try to stick with those since they are all free. So I'm going to come into the store, go to the search. Uh, let's just type in, well, let's go to the animations first. And I'm going to type in turn. And here's all the ones that showed up for turn. So we're looking for like a running turn. Now I've already actually gone ahead and looked and there was one I really liked. I think it was running right turn. Yeah, right here. I like this one here. So go ahead, click it, add it to your downloads. Um, I've already added mine and it'll tell you to go ahead and take a look at your assets. So we'll come over here. Well, I'll show the actual how it looks if uh, you haven't done it yet. So let's grab a different one. Uh, backward right turn. Uh, Let's actually while we're here look for one walking backwards. So we've got two here. I'm just trying to see if there's a visual distinction. So we'll grab two animations. We're going to grab the walking backwards one. Uh, there's a walking backward turn. I don't know if I like that. I think I'm going to go with this one just because it's a little more visually distinctive. Moonwalking. 
bump, 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 bump. Then we have this with the head slouched down a bit. I don't want that. Okay, well, we're just gonna pick, um, hmm. It really doesn't matter. I'm gonna go ahead and pick this one. I'll add it to my assets, and there was one with a turn. I always have trouble finding that. Where was it? That's right here. Walking backward turn. Nah, I don't want that. <laughs> There's got to be a regular one. Well, let's uh, grab the regular turning one that I showed you first, and we'll go ahead and we'll just work with that one. Backward right turn. See, I always like to have a separate animation. There's nothing wrong with mirroring and playing them backwards. I just like to have uh, an actual animation that isn't that. And one thing I do want to point out here is that we do have some things that we can play around with the animation. Override is just how fast you want the animation to play. I'll go ahead and put it back to 50, which is their default. And of course the arm spacing, if you want the arms out to the side or in closer to the body. Again, I'll put it back to 50 for the default and you can trim some frames off as well. Uh, there's 39 frames total. I'm just gonna go ahead and keep those. So I'm just gonna hit add to my assets as well. I'm gonna come over to my assets. Uh, I grabbed a few of them there, right? Let's go to my animations. And there's a few here I grabbed. Here's that running right turn. If I go ahead and click it, of course, we get all the options as well. What I'm going to do is just go ahead and make sure these are checked, the ones I want. So we'll check there, walking backwards. Sure, we'll check that one out. And backwards right turn. And I'm not going to use sprint this time around. I have that in a different character controller I'm playing with. So we'll grab those three. I'm going to hit Q download. And before I said I did not know what the difference between FBX and FBX for Unity was. And if you download just FBX, you just get the name like backward turn right. Where if you pick FBX for Unity, it'll say something, you know, like beta at. So really it just depends on what naming convention you want. And I can't remember if our other animations are 30 or 60. I'm going to go ahead and grab 60. Uh, we don't need the skins in this. And keyframe reduction, we're not going to bother using any. Unity has that built in. So I'm just going to hit Q download. It'll actually go out and download those for us. Or set them up to download. We'll let's go ahead and download those. So it's one, two, and three. I'm going to go ahead, open Unity up. I've got my animations opened up already. Now we're going to have to unmaximize. There we go. Let's go into my downloads. I'll actually just open this up. I'm going to grab all three. See, because I picked the Unity version, we get the beta app. And I'm just going to drag them all into my project here. And beta, a backward right turn. We're going to have to come into the rig. And we'll have to set these up. It's going to be a humanoid. Uh, we're going to copy from another avatar. We're going to right click and we're going to use the beta avatar. This is the one we're using for all our other animations. So I'm going to go ahead and pick that. We'll hit apply. And now when we come to the animations, we actually get the view. Let's take a look here. I do want it to loop. I want it to loop pose. I'm not putting a cycle offset. Uh, I don't care about the transformation on the Y, or sorry, the rotation. I do not want it to float up and down right off the bat. And we're not gonna click the mirror because we're gonna do it somewhere else. So this is backwards, right turn. I'll go ahead and hit apply. Let's just take a quick look at it. That's not too bad. But let's start off with the one for the run. So beta, well, there was another one. There was walk backwards. We're going to do the exact same thing here. So we're going to make this humanoid. We're going to copy from another avatar. The avatar we want to copy is, well, you guessed it, beta. We'll hit apply. I'm going to come down. And this is walking backwards. Uh, again, I want it to loop. It looks like it, the loop match is all set up for us. I uh, do not want it to rotate. And we're gonna go with the original. Just like we did 
four, we'll go ahead, we'll set the root transformation Y, because I don't want it to move up and down. And we'll go ahead, we'll hit apply. And then we have the one with the running, where was it? Running right turn. This is the one we want to work with first. So just like before, we're going to go ahead, select it. Come up to the top where the rig is. Um, we want the animation. So we're going to go ahead, take humanoid. We're going to copy from an avatar. The avatar we're going to copy with is our beta avatar. And you notice that um, there's fewer and fewer of these. We actually only want the one avatar in this scene or in this project. We'll go ahead, hit apply. We'll come over to animations. And for compression, hmm. I usually use keyframe reduction, but let's go ahead and we'll see what this one does. So we'll go ahead, we'll take the looping, we're gonna loop the pose. Uh, I'm not worried about the transform because uh, he's turning in this one. I do not want him floating up and down. And we'll hit apply. Let's take a look at this animation first. Now one of the things you have to pay attention with if you're grabbing packages from other animators or just other animating, other, like, trying to mix other animation packages is that uh, the stride sometimes isn't the same, or maybe the arms at the side aren't the same. It can look a little weird. That's one of the reasons since we started with Mixma, I'd like to stick with them. I know Unity has a default package that they put out that has a ton of stuff in it, but everyone uses that. And it's great to start with if you don't have animations, but it's not something I'd actually ever want to publish with because, well, there's just so many games out there with those exact animations already. But let's go ahead, we're gonna jump into our blend tree for run. And I'm gonna go ahead and add two more fields here. Both motion fields. And we're gonna take that, uh, was it run right turn? I'm gonna drop into one of them. Well, I'm gonna drop it into both of them. And we'll take the first one, make it negative one, so it's above the standard run, which means that when the input is negative one, it's gonna be in one direction, where the other one, we'll leave it at one which is the opposite direction for the input. And if we go ahead, we'll just start it off by clicking the main blend tree, we'll hit play. Uh, I've already got zero. So there's our walking backwards, which we did, and we'll probably change. And of course, as he starts going forward, we'll just go into the full run so we can play around with these blend trees. I'm just gonna move it a bit so we can see it. Now, as we start turning right, not bad, we might have to speed it up a bit. I'm not sure. But as we turn left, it turns in the same direction. And this is where mirroring comes in. So go ahead, we'll set it to zero again. And mirroring is as simple as, we'll select this blend tree so we see it. Simple as clicking this button, that is all we have to do. Now if we come back in, and we play our animation, and we start going to the right, moves to the right, we go to the left, he now turns to the left. So this is pretty awesome the way Mechanim does this. You really just have to go out and find retargetable animations that you can go ahead and put onto your humanoid figures. It's pretty simple. So let's go ahead, we'll check this out in game. I'm gonna jump in and we can move. And there we go, we can now turn. And more importantly, you know how to play animations backwards and well, I guess we should have actually kept it on him so we can see. More importantly, you know how to play animations backwards and you now know how to mirror. So let's go ahead and we'll take a look at those other animations for walking backwards and turning. You should already know how to do these, but just in case you're having a bit of trouble, I'm gonna probably look at them anyway, so I'll just record it for you. So I'm gonna put this walking backwards in. We no longer have to play it at negative one. We can just play it at one is what we want. I'm gonna go ahead and start this bad boy up. I want to make sure that we're at zero. And I'm going to walk backwards. It might be something I want to increase the speed of. I'm not sure. Let's go ahead and we'll take a look at it in game. Zoom in. So here he is walking forward. Let's go backwards. I think I'm actually going to increase the speed. Not a whole lot. Um, take a look here. Maybe 1.3. 
Well, two is obviously too fast. That looks silly. 1.5. And again, this is just season to taste, right? Now, I want him to back up. And again, I want something a little more like for the hop, like he's really kind of... Well, I, you're going to pick the animations that you want. But anyway, that does seem to be what I want. So we're going to add a couple more here. We're going to do the exact same thing for walking backwards while turning. So we got walk backwards, uh, beta backwards, right turn. And of course, I've got to open up Mechanim again. Uh, we'll just drag this into both the empties. And we'll have to open this up. Uh, walk backwards is going to be zero. We need one at negative one. And one at one. And I'm going to go ahead and put this back to one for speed. And make sure that the negative one one, the one that turns left, is mirrored. I'm going to go ahead and save that off. We'll jump right into our scene. Start it up. Walk backwards. Hmm. Apparently I've got the wrong input for it. I do. This is supposed to be turning. I'll jump back in. Turn. There we go. Start this back up. Now we walk backwards. We can turn. It is kind of slow. I think uh, I definitely want to go faster. Uh, 1.5. And of course, I'm going to have to speed all of these up. But Mechanism does give you that ability. We'll go ahead. There we go. Anyway, you now know how to blend them, you now know how to mirror them, and you now know how to play them backwards, or at least play a bit with the time scale. Anyway, thanks for watching everyone. Go ahead and leave a comment down below. Maybe something you'd like to see. If you have any places where you can go and get a lot of really cool free animations that isn't, well, either Mixamo or the Unity Asset Store, or even if you know of a package that's really exceptionally good either if you have to pay for it or it's free go ahead and put a link to it down below i'm pretty sure everyone else that's watching these videos would probably love to know about them anyway thanks for watching everyone and i'll see you in the next video bye bye so if you like the video go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below it really does help me out here on youtube and go ahead and follow me on twitter you're a pretty chatty guy over there when i'm not walking through a forest or being stalked by eagles and falcons lions tigers and bears